What's going on kids? Pastor Jacob here with another Life Group video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. This week, we're continuing to explore the life and ministry of Jesus as we journey through the book of Matthew. We're in Matthew chapter 14 today. Matthew is in the New Testament and is the very first book in the New Testament. We're going to be looking for Matthew chapter 14. And we're going to start in verse 22 today. So take a minute and find Matthew 14 verse 22. Okay, quick question. How many of you have tried to run or walk across water before? I remember growing up at the pool, me and my friends, we would try to run as fast as we can and then try to run across the water. It never worked though, not even close. Well, our story today is about a time where people walked on water. Our story begins right after Jesus fed the 5,000 with the five loaves and two fish. Jesus tells his disciples to hop in a boat and travel across the sea while he dismisses the crowds. After Jesus had finished dismissing the crowds, he went to the top of a mountain to pray. Jesus stayed there alone for a little while. All the while, the boat that disciples had gotten in had gotten about a mile away from the shore, and a storm had popped up on the sea. There was wind whipping around everywhere. It was about three in the morning when the disciples thought that they saw something out in the water. It looked like a person, but all the disciples started to panic. They screamed, it's a ghost! But then a voice came out to them. Have courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. The voice was Jesus. He was out there walking on the water to the disciples. Peter shouted back, Lord, if it's really you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus shouted back, come. So Peter stuck his foot out of the boat, onto the water, and he walked. Peter walked on the water to Jesus. I can only imagine just how exciting and mind-blowing this was for Peter, actually walking on water. But there's a problem. That storm was still all around them. The wind was blowing and it was terrifying. Peter began to look around him and he saw just how scary that storm was. And then suddenly, Peter began to see He was no longer walking on the water. Peter cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus reached out his hand and caught Peter. And Jesus says, you have little faith. How did you doubt? Jesus and Peter went back to the boat. And as they did, the storm stopped. The disciples were amazed at what they had seen. And they said, truly, you are the Son of God. This is an incredible story of just something amazing. Jesus and Peter walked on water. How crazy cool is that? But what else is really important about this story is what it teaches us about faith and looking towards Jesus. Peter had faith when he first stepped out of the boat. He trusted that Jesus would actually make him walk on water. But then Peter got scared. He saw the storm around him and began to doubt that Jesus could keep him top of the water. When Peter began to sink, he cried out to Jesus for help. And then Jesus essentially asked why Peter didn't have more faith. We learn a lot from this because we see that when things get tough, or in a tough or scary situation like Peter was in the storm, our best option is to cry out to Jesus for help. And Jesus wants us to have faith in him that he will get us through whatever is going on. Jesus is in control. And we can trust him that he will do what is best. This is a great story and one that reminds us to keep faith in Jesus and to trust him even when times get really tough. I know it is hard sometimes to keep that faith during trying times, but even during those tough times, know that Jesus is going to be looking out for you and your best interest. I've enjoyed exploring this story with you all and cannot wait to explore the lesson next week. Now, let's jump into our memories. It's memory verse time. Do you remember where our memory verse is for the month of March? Our verse is in the book of 1 John. 1 John is in the New Testament, and it's towards the very back of your life. We're going to be in 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. So take a minute and find 1 John 4. Let's practice our verse together. God's love was revealed among us this way. God sent his one and only son 
into the world so that we might live with him. First John. Great job. Now let's do our motion for our memory verse together. God's love was revealed among us this way. That God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. First John 4 9. Great job. Remember, this verse is a really special verse. It tells us how God has shown his love for us. God showed his love for us by sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Easter's coming up, and it's during Easter that we remember Jesus dying on the cross in our place. So as you are hiding this verse in your heart, remember, Easter's right around the corner, and we are celebrating Jesus being our Savior. Now, let's jump into craft. It's craft time. Today, we're learning about the time Jesus walked on water. So our craft is going to be... Jesus walking on water. There are a lot of ways to make this craft. You should find a PDF on the church's website that you can print that looks just like this. There are a ton of these templates online. So you can just Google Jesus walking on water craft and find this one or a ton of others. To go along with this template, you're also gonna need some crayons, glue, scissors, and a craft stick. Take a minute and find your support. Once you have your supplies, you'll start by coloring your picture, however you want to color it. This is how I color it. So you can color your similar to I have mine, or if you want to color your page as different, just do whatever you want to do. Make the water whatever color you want to make it, whatever. But this is how I chose to color mine. Once you color your page, take time to carefully cut out the different pieces. So Jesus and the boat, and also this big rectangle that goes with the boat, and not separate. You may need an adult's help if you're trying to figure out how to follow the black lines because it is a little tough. You could also just cut a big circle around each piece so that way you don't actually mess up the pieces you're trying to cut out. After you've cut out your pieces, you're gonna cut the black line right here that goes across the boat. You're just gonna wanna cut that, cut it off, and just make a little slit right there in your piece. Next, you're gonna take your Jesus piece and glue a craft stick to the back of Jesus. Then, you're gonna slide the craft stick inside that little slit that you made, and you'll be able to move Jesus up and down, and he'll be walking on water. Hope you all have fun making this craft, and I can't wait to see you all here next week again. See you all soon. Bye.